Stories like that are why people move into gated communities to get an extra sense of security. But in one such community, another home invasion is leaving any such sense shattered. Marcelino Benito continues Not In Your Side Crime Watch team coverage. It's a picturesque little neighborhood, a gated community on the west side where neighbors watch out for neighbors. It was um, something we hadn't expected here. It's a very quiet neighborhood and peaceful. But that peace shattered when two crooks made their way undetected to this house. Sneaking through brush, they broke through a back window. Inside, they snatched 75 high-end watches worth a total of $30,000, plus a corporate credit card. Just hours later, they decide to do a little shopping, but they weren't alone on their shopping spree. Cameras at AutoZone catch the crooks swiping the card. Swipes so much, they racked up almost $1,000 in charges. Their next stop, Walgreens, where you get an even better look at his face. What were they buying? Auto parts. They purchased diapers. They purchased gift cards. Yes, diapers, which leads neighbors to believe these weren't your average criminals. A family person, but maybe not the ideal family person. So he probably has kids. So deputies hope someone knows who the men are. They hope this surveillance tape can help you help them solve this case. But until those leads come in and the crooks are caught, neighbors tell nine on your side they feel the pressure. Do you fear that it could happen again until these guys are caught? I do. Yeah, I think uh, the reward for them was t too great. They know this neighborhood and, um, you know, we're all working families here, so there's nobody home during the day. So that, that is a little nerve wracking. So homeowners are beefing up security, taking steps to protect themselves and their belongings. They plan to do their part to make sure one home burglary doesn't turn into two. We're getting a bigger dog, making sure our weapon is ready. You can check out the surveillance video and more photos on our website, kgun9.com. Of course, if you have any information that can help, please call 911 or 88 Crime. This case, an isolated incident? Guy, I asked that very question today. Deputies say they don't think this is a trend, but I did look up recent crime reports for the area. This is actually the second burglary in the same neighborhood in just the last two weeks. Not good. Marcelino, thank you.